And now, your following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first. And his opponent. From Windsor, Ontario, Canada, weighing in at 176 pounds, the Canadian Destroyer, Petey What a contest we have up here next at Brawlfest ESW style. We've got Kevin Blackwood along with Caesar and Lady Lala taking on back here in Buffalo. It's been a while, but the Canadian destroyer, Petey Williams. Petey Williams, a long, long time staple of the independent scene. Starred for many years in Impact Wrestling. We saw him here back in the old ballpark for all days, Scotty, you and I. Remember when he first started in TNA back in the early 2000s, Team Canada, trained by Scott Demore. Scott Demore, basically the guy who brought P.D. Williams to Impact and international prominence. But today, facing Kevin Blackwood, as you mentioned, company by the Caesar, who you have called deplorable at times. He's disgusting. Well, I'd like to call him an unstable genius. But him and Kevin Blackwood have had kind of a... Ah, a chilling out, maybe it's a strange relationship. Like, very quickly, remember last show, when Kevin faced AR Fox, he wanted to do it on his own, didn't win, it caused some consternation between the two, but apparently they say they're all on the same page, a little bit of nervousness in the background. So let's see what happens today with Kevin Blackwood. And Blackwood knew when he took on Air Fox at Retaliation, there was a high profile match. It was a, a really a great opportunity for him to prove himself that, you know, He's one of the top caliber wrestlers here. Now we've got him taking on Petey Williams, and this time he's allowed out Caesar, quote unquote, to be at ringside, as a fan, as Caesar said. But we'll see. You can't trust a Caesar because you know why? He's deplorable. And an unstable genius. Yes. Again, great to see Petey Williams back in the Buffalo area. Stays in fantastic shape. Again, that answer the longevity of his career. Gets stronger, gets better as the years go on, as, as his career continues on. And now, the referee Amy Allen call for the for the break is Black. We got his feet to the bottom rope. And again, we'll see with Caesar. We'll see what kind of guidance he provides in this match here for Kevin Blackwood against again one of the top stars, Petey Williams. And you mentioned about Petey Williams having to reinvent himself. That's true for many veterans. Uh, we saw earlier tonight with Stevie Richards. He survived with the, you know, he's rolled with the punches, he survived. He's done a great job of maintaining his longevity in our great sport as well. Oh, Blackwood the right hand, oh nice! Rolling snap mare by Williams, oh sweep of the leg by Blackwood! Nice arm drag takeover by Williams. Again, nice 
Sweep down by Blackwood. Fast and furious here. Next exchanges. Crucifix pin. Only a two. Oh! And then catches him right in the midsection with that mule kick. Now Blackwood. I wonder if we'll see a little more aggression out of Blackwood with Caesar at ringside. We'll see what kind of effect that Caesar has on Kevin Blackwood. Nice tilt to world. Like Caesar's takeover. By Williams. Blackwood comes rushing in. Oh! Drop toe holds him. Blackwood across that middle rope. Williams comes in. Oh, and then a drop kick is that steel cable. Snaps right across the windpipe of Blackwood. Now the cover. Two, no. And that's quite a distance. If anyone who's listening or watching is not familiar with Octavia, that's quite the distance. Well, it's out of the territory, technically. You won't worry about that. Now Blackwood in the corner. Williams whips him out. Comes rushing in, but it's caught by a boot by Blackwood. Oh, then Blackwood, that running European uppercut. Another two times. He's got William Stays. Three's a charm. Oh, he misses. Went to the well too often. Now Petey. Kick right to the kidney area. Oh, wait. Look to go for monkey flip, but gets put on the top rope. Again, who goes right back to that leg scissors takeover. Gracefully executed. Now Blackwood to the outside, trying to get a breather here. Maul laying down the 10 count. You can see Williams, though, eyeing Blackwood on the outside. No. Oh, again, he's an that leg scissors takeover. And her Karana takeover right to the outside. Caesar's a little upset. He's hiding behind Lady Lada, Scotty. Again, he's deplorable. Ah, yeah. oh, you might be right. Referee, senior referee, A. Mollen, again, trying to get both Petey Williams and Kevin Blackwood back in the confines of the squared circle, but being distracted by Caesar. And finally, both men enter the ring. Mullen calls off the 10 count. Irish whip. Clothesline. And then Petey Williams, Maple Leaf Muscle, drops an elbow. No. Oh, and that was some push-ups. Shades of his one-time mentor, Scott Steiner. I got a 66 and two thirds percent chance of winning. You got three. And Petey Williams yelling out the percentages that he has to win this match. And now Petey. Uh-oh, the tree of woe. Goes Kevin Black, and we could be seeing the old Canada. But wait a minute, Caesar again trying to insert himself as distraction. Oh, I think it's power bomb. Those Williams. Is Blackwood sitting in that tree of woe? Nice move there by Blackwood. And the strength it requires to do that while you're hiding, hiding, while you're hanging the tree of woe. A lot of power by Kevin Blackwood, Scotty. And now the cover hooks the far leg. Two only a two. Kevin Blackwood, you know, despite the beanies taken, Scotty, maybe he had some time to clear the cobwebs, rest himself outside the ring. He's got to take advantage now because if this match were going to the judges' scorecard, I'd have Petey Williams ahead on points. I would agree with that. But Blackwood, though, gathering some points here very quickly. Comes rushing in, follows that Irish whip with a clothesline. You can see the impact as Petey Williams bouncing out of the corner. Williams trying to fight back with some right hands to the midsection, but Blackwood presses the mind to drive that knee right to the ribs of Williams. Now just choking Williams on that bottom rope using the full body weight to add to the pressure. And now there goes Caesar. Oh, you see Blackwood's not too happy. I he wasn't, he wasn't. Again, we saw that they wanted basically stay out of each other's way. And I think once Caesar saw that Black was angry, those he backed off right away. So maybe Caesar temporarily snapped and just remembered their agreement. So I'm not going to be too much into that one episode, Scott. Yeah, but think about the mental aspect of this match for Kevin Blackwood. He's got to keep his mind. He's got to keep the match going, Peter Williams. But then he's got to police Caesar out there to make sure Caesar doesn't break the rules or get in, you know, involved in the match. Too many tasks for one man, perhaps, Scotty. Too many tasks. And now the action to the outside is, oh, Petey Williams face first into the ring apron. That unforgiving ring apron. Oh, the martial arts back on to Kevin Blackwood. Shows as he delivers that 
Martial arts kick right to the midsection. Again, there goes Caesar and Blackwood. Again, admonishing Caesar for his interference, getting involved. Blackwood wants to do it on his own. Caesar doesn't listen. He's just got these ingrained bad behaviors, Scotty. That just can't be snapped in the week or two. I don't know. You know what you call that behavior? Deplorable. Oh, you got me there, Scotty. Uh oh, roll up. Small package. Only a two. Oh, Blackwood blocked the right hand by Williams and delivered one of his own. Williams trying to fight out of the corner. Oh, some aggressive right hands. Blackwood trying to cover up, but un unable to. Those right hands still catching Blackwood. Pity Williams. Oh, right into a Russian leg sweep. And that crucifix pin, nice, nice combination there. Oh! Flatliner variation of by P.D. Williams. Bottom line, Kevin Blackwood's face got driven into the canvas pretty hard. You may have to see an orthopedic surgeon after this match, Scotty. But by the way, when P.D. Williams, oh, he said for the, the seventh Canadian st destroyer, Scotty. This could be the finisher right here. Flip pile drivers putting many men away. Oh! That helped Nelson German. Only a two. Still, Kevin Blackwood's got to make more do out of this, Scotty. Both men, both men are gas, what you say. It's been the, both men delivering and receiving lots of punishment. And again, Kevin Blackwood, right to that martial arts background, delivering those stiff kicks. Pity Williams trying to fight him off. I don't know if they're hurting Pete Williams or actually making me more angry. A nice adjustment there by Kevin, going high, cover. Oh, two and a half. Only a two and a half, almost. The win here by Kevin Blackwood here at ESW Brawl Fest. What a crowd here on hand, standing room only. Place is packed. And they're watching a fantastic match here. Wait a minute, half Nelson. Oh, wait, wait a minute! The Canadian Destroyer, no! Rolls him up in the pinning, no, wait. Look at that sharpshooter! Williams has got Blackwood! And that sharpshooter! Is he gonna tap it out? Williams hooks the arm! Preventing Blackwood! What do you say? From breaking the hold! You can see Caesar's right there! He wants the help! Oh, and Blackwood gets there. Breaks the hold. He might have done it without Caesar's help. He might have not done it. Still, the right move, technical move, go for the rope. Peter Wills maybe, in, in hindsight, better po positioning in the ring, getting more towards the middle. But there's still an effective maneuver. I can't see Peter not trying it again. Oh, Petey hooks in Blackwood. Something a suplex here. Blackwood has a block, though. Williams just pounding on the back of Blackwood. As he tries to deliver that standing suplex. Now Blackwood. Burst of energy. Wait a minute, Tombstone! Oh! And then drives the knees right into Williams. Cover! Two! No! Wow. Scotty, for about three seconds, Peter Williams looked dazed. He was out on his feet. Unfortunately, by the time he got to the mat, he woke up. But a great maneuver by Kevin Black. I don't know what you would call that. Effective. Aye, indeed, Scotty. Oh Now, Blackwood comes rushing in. Petey catches him. Oh! Face buster. And now, wait a minute. Can we see the Canadian Destroyer? Blackwood again thwarts it. Hooks him in. Oh! Went for a suplex. Turned it into a cutter. One, two, no. Wow, Blackwood so close. So close. And that was a trick. A quick transition from the suplex into the cutter, just like that guy. I don't know if that was an intentional plan, original plan when he looked at it, but he shifted, he shifted to the cutter, almost got a three count. Black was showing everything at Petey Williams except besides the kitchen sink. And that might be next. Petey surviving in this match. Face first in the turnbuckle. Black went out of the bed. Oh! Petey stops him in his track. Oh! 
High knee strike. Oh, Williams misses with the bicycle kick. Oh, and then again, Williams gets caught in the face by a Blackwood knee. Comes off, Pete picks him up. Power bomb. Rolls him through. Again for that Canadian short, but Blackwood has that move well scouted. Oh! Oh! Almost kicks Williams' face right off. Hard, hard strikes by Kevin Blackwood. That strong style background of Blackwood. And martial arts teaching. Oh, now stomps him right in the chest. A mini coup de gras, if you will. See Caesar shouting encouragement to Blackwood on the outside. Wrist clutch into the half Nelson. Williams. Here we go. Now Caesar's up on the ring apron. Now Mullen. Admonishing Caesar. Williams is distracted. Oh, now Caesar. Inadvertently has Blackwood. Williams goes after Caesar. Caesar's been disposed. It's going to be the end of the end here. The Canadian destroyer. Oh! Good night, Kevin Blackwood. One, two, three, it's over. Your winner, Petey Williams. What a great hard hitting match between both men, Scotty. Neither one deserved to win it. But in the end, Caesar on the ropes, Caesar on the ring apron. That might have been the difference, Scotty. Wow. Kevin Blackwood, I mean, he had so many chances to put Petey Williams away. Came so close, but as they say, yet so far. And then the collision with Caesar on the ring apron opens up the opportunity for Petey Williams to hit that Canadian destroyer. And that's all she wrote for Kevin Blackwood. Wow, what a match. Your winner, Petey Williams. Looks like, uh-oh, we're gonna see how this goes down, Ivan. We've got Caesar out there trying to apologize. But you know what? He probably thinks it's Kevin Blackwood's fault, if you want my honest opinion. Who knows what Caesar truly thinks at this point, Scotty? I don't know. Let him mind, reader. We'll see how it transpires here. See, Caesar looks a little dejected. His lady, Lala. She doesn't know what to do. She doesn't want to get involved. She's loyal to Caesar. Caesar trying to make peace here. I don't know if it's going to happen. It's just two in a row for Kevin Blackwood. Two losses. And now Blackwood. Oh, Lady Lala's trying to get in the middle of it. Probably won't be the first time. She's trying to get involved here. Trying to make the peace between both Caesar and Kevin Blackwood. Lady Lala's the voice of reason. That's a new one. Oh, Kevin Blackwood, he's going to act it himself. He's going to think it over before he makes any commitment to the Caesar. More to come as the saga between Caesar and Kevin Blackwood continues.